Hello, and in this screencast I want to show you how to use uh, the JREBEL plugin that we have for Apache ISIS uh, just from within Maven. So I'm working with our simple application, the application that's generated from the simple archetype. And um, so here's our code. Uh, very, very simple. And uh, I'm going to just build this code. And this won't take too long to run. Now, the idea of this is we want to be able to create a fairly tight turnaround without having to redeploy the application all the time. So um, this is building the application one off. Obviously, this would take too long for our sort of cycle that took 17 seconds. But um, the next thing to do is to run our application. So I've uh, got uh, the command to run. Uh, this is from the uh, from the web app uh, module and I'm running ant run run in a certain profile and I'm passing a couple of arguments which is the location of the jrebel jar I just happen to have a copy that's in, a, in an IntelliJ installation and also the ISIS rebel uh, plugin that I've written that's up on github that you can download and um, build yourself so I'm just going to paste that in and then this is going to be running up the application this is a, a one class application so very very straightforward and so it's not going to take it very long to start up but even so there we are let's uh, let's just check it out so we have um, install some fixtures and we have a couple of very simple objects there so now the point is I want to now make changes to this code without and then pick up those changes without having to do the full build and redeploy so um, let's keep it old school. Here's the simple object class loaded in Vi. Um, and what I've prepared here is I've got an additional property that you can see I've commented out. So let's um, let's comment that, that in. Let's go from there down to there. Substitute. OK, so I'm going to save that. Now what I want to do is build but uh, that code but just the minimum so I want to compile just the DOM project um, and there's some additional stuff there which is the data nuclear enhancer running but that only took two and a half seconds and so without me doing any further work I should now be able to m pick up the changes and what I'm realizing as I demo this is I'm going to see an ex uh, stack trace here potentially first time round Actually, I didn't. Ah, fantastic! And you can see name two has appeared as if by magic. Well, that's pretty good. I'll, I'll say I'll go, come back to why we will see a stack trace one one time or the other. But uh, let's go back and make a further change. So let's uh, change globally name two to name three, and uh, we'll save that. Let's uh, recompile just the DOM project, in other words, that class, and enhance it, and uh, we will then looking for name two to change to name three and, and it did you can just about see that there okay I did just mention that sometimes you can see a stack trace let me just um, say why we didn't and why we will if I'm on the object that's being changed then uh, the, the framework is able to pick up the change to the meta model uh, just in time but if we were to well, let me show you let me make the change so let's go and change name three to name four and uh, let's again do the compile again two seconds now if I instead of refreshing the page do a list all you can see we get an exception because um, if you go through you can see it things are out of whack it can't find name for because that's the thing we just added in but it's a temporary thing if I were just to um, go back and then do a list all again then you can see we're all back and working so I don't think that's too bigger a glitch I can live with that myself it's it, it is after all a development tool and the point is to keep the the cycle running so there we are that's how you can use the jrebel plugin from within uh, from within maven okay I hope that was helpful and see you soon